In today's episode, we will do another Cyborg effect in Photoshop. I will use a photo of my friend. You can use any photo that you like and I will show some really cool tips and tricks. It's really easy, it's really cool and it will be pretty fun. So let's start. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is the photo that we will play with today. This is my friend Dushan. He is really good photographer from New York and you can check his work. He's creating some really, really good portraits on this link right there and uh, follow him on Instagram. So the idea is to create something like like this to make some artificial eye here okay to create some connectors for some cables on the head so to turn him practically into some kind of of cyborg i don't know so something here and maybe to change the wardrobe a little bit so this is this is the idea i didn't do anything in the front so i will do this for the first time now you will see me doing everything maybe some I, we will have some maybe issues that you will see how i will um solve so i did this purposely because you asked me to do something like this you like this type of tutorial so i will mix i will do first time tutorials and i will do already prepared tutorials too okay so only thing that i did before making this tutorial is downloaded all the images that i want to use here so these you will see why what i have in my head and also i went in blender and made these cables and the eye etc so i will quickly show you how i made this because it's really simple first of all for the eye i go to the mesh and use uv sphere and let's just focus on that okay so i rotated by 90 degrees on y axis and this is basically it turn it into this view and just selected some polygons like this and these two and then i extrude it extrude this inside like that so maybe maybe a little bit out and here is just matter of playing with things so extrude something place something out maybe like that i don't remember what exactly i did because it was just something that i did optional so here let's see let's go just with let's go just with this let's move this like a little bit inside let's add some edge here move it out and we can play with some polygons we can for example select these polygons oops these polygons right there and extrude them or inner or out whatever and we can do this for the other side put some kind let's shade smooth this put some kind of uh, this looks crazy now, so just a second. Put some kind of material, etc. And uh, what I got is this. So let's delete this. For the cables, I did the same thing. So uh, basically use the cylinder here. Let me show you use the cylinder. Just made the similar thing here. And cables I did with cable radar. So let me show you. For that, you need to have two objects. So I will use now this. I have the plugin, cable radar. It's amazing. So really easy to create cables select one object select another object and it will make the cable you can make the cable smaller bigger you can do some really cool things you can lower the tension or make it make it differently make more cables let me show you. like this different type of cables etc check out that on um, uh, youtube some tutorials about cable radar you will see how cool it is and then i just went at a camera add this background image, render this out, and that's it. So now let's go back to Photoshop and let's start making this really cool photo. So basically for the robot here, I already extracted the part that I want because I don't want to waste my time and your time here. So I will just copy everything and go here, paste it right there and let's move it somewhere over the rainbow. So actually I changed my mind. Right now, I changed my mind. I don't need this. Okay, I don't want this at all. So let's fast forward and let me delete this. Okay, so now the idea is to just clean this up a little bit. So the idea is to move this and to position to warp it around his real neck. So let's see. 
Control or Command T. Oh yeah, I want right click and apply layer mask. I don't need ever anything else here. So Control or Command T on this. Right click, warp. I'm trying out this. I don't know if this will work. So hopefully it will work just fine. So let's see. Here is okay. Where is the end of the neck of the neck here? So maybe I can just go do something a little bit like this. Do the same thing here. I don't want to do it too much, but some uh yeah, I'm I don't like it because I'm making these more curved and I don't want that. So this is okay. This is okay. And now let's create a layer mask and uh, again just mask out the things that you don't want to be visible. So currently I don't know what will be visible, what will not be visible, but let's let's just do this part. So again I will fast forward this. Basically I'm just playing with the layer mask. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I just want to mask out this. Okay. So I'm trying out with the quick selection tool, then select and mask and let's try to oops to refine this just see if it will pick up these hairs a little bit better than i would do it manually not bad at all so we will see how this will work okay so let's say i'm happy with this and we have refined here. Let's see how this will work. Okay. So let's press OK. Let's go here. Let's go back to the mask. And the idea is, oops, not that, but the brush. So I can, I need to invert this. Shift Control I or Shift Command I on a Mac. And this is how it looks. Okay. I will fix now these edges here. And I want a little bit softer brush like this. Okay. And here too. Maybe just to make it smaller and just simulate some kind of hair here. Or we can draw it later. I will show you how it's easy to draw some hair back in. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, we need to draw some hair here back because it will be a better overall result. More organic, so... But for now, this, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so the next step is to go and to use this guy here. So I will copy this and I will go back here, okay? And then I will paste this, make it bigger. How big? Let's see. Let's lower the opacity of this. Let's overlay these two heads together. And let's say this is okay. Let's rotate a little bit to match the eyes. Maybe a bit more. And now there are no two people with the same size and shape of the eyes of the head. So I'm just doing this approximately something like this. Let's press OK. We will see how this will go and go back with this. I already extracted this before. So <laughs> not bad. So let's maybe move it a little bit up. Move it a little bit up like there. And now we need to delete what's this. Hmm, we need to fix this. So we need to delete some part of his um, hood here. So before that, I will go with the robot neck. Let's rename it. This is this, the suit and uh, robot neck actually will go into transform mode, control or command T, warp it and actually bring O. I need this to switch back. And now let's control or command T, right click, warp it and bring this 
somewhere here. So this is one way to do it. The other way is maybe to nudge this suit a little bit to the left. So whatever, it's cool. So this looks good. Now we need to fix the mask. Okay. And remind me guys to add some hair here because I will forgot, forget for sure. So, okay. Now let's fix the hood. So is this how you spell it? I don't know. I don't know, but now we will do it. Sample this color and just whoop. That's it, fast and easy. Now we need to do the same thing with the suit here. But you know what? Let's see what happens if I go like controller command T, right click, flip horizontal. Yeah, if I go like this because of the light setup, so. I'm not sure, I'm experimenting guys. And maybe I need to make this a bit smaller. Because here is brighter, here is darker, uh, here is darker, so it makes sense, the light is coming from this direction. So, okay, I will right click and apply layer mask because I don't need it. So now I will go into transform, control command T and try to nudge this a little bit to the left, like that, this, a little bit to the right, but we need to go a little bit wider, so from here, from here to here, and then, let's see what we will have, we need to fix the suit, so a layer mask, and let's see if we can use this a little bit, so, no, 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 no. Here on the mask, we need to invert it. So a lot of things is going on here and here and invert it again. And hmm, 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 hmm. We need to play with this part a little bit more. So we will do that. So what we need to do with this, again, we, we can just use transform tool or we can go and use filter and liquefy. So let's go with this method. So filter, liquefy and go inside that. And then we can go show backdrop here. That's cool because we want to see what is going on. What are we changing? And we can move this a little bit towards the like that press ok and that's cool so i will fast forward just to clean up the this mask a little bit more right this looks cool the next step is to go and play with the robot neck here and uh, i want to go with this all the way down so for that we can try to use this selection and to invert it control or command i shift control or shift command i like that so this is cool let's see how we will that's perfect so about this hoodie here that's cool and let's go with the brush sample this color really soft brush because this is how we want and maybe just here to clean this up and I really like it. So he is now like some kind of a gentleman robot, gentleman cyborg with a robot neck. So this is our first part. Now what we can do, I hate this part. I need to clean it. So I will copy this here, clean up parts. So I'll use this color and just paint over it. Okay. Easy peasy, no problem. And this is it. Now let's go and add a few other things. So let's add this eye. And then we'll add cables, etc. So this is eye. And it's really cool eye. It will go somewhere here. Like, like make it more transparent. 
So the idea is to see where is the original pupil here like that, maybe just a tiny bigger. Like like this. Okay, go back to 100% and now let's let's mask it. So add a layer mask and uh, go with the black with a little bit harder brush and I always like to go more than I want and then to paint back things. So so let's see here I want this to be an edge like this perfect and the eyebrows goes over this is cool here we can make some kind of curve now you can you can do it manually like this or you can use pen tool and do it with a pen tool if you want. So what, whatever you think is best. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe, maybe like that. Hmm? What do you think? Not bad. We need to make some same thing like uh, this over down here to make the impression that the eye, the eye is actually under the skin. So we will do that. Just see. What kind of shape do we want? Mm, maybe I want more here. So. More over there. So this is completely optional now, guys. However you want, whatever shape you want, you can do it. So you can take a photo of your friend and do something like this. If you don't know how to use Blender or any other 3D software, then you can just go online and find some some robot eyes uh, to get something like this. So uh, I want to make it more narrow. Okay, perfect. Now let's play with uh, let's add other elements and then I will show you how to how to make the impression that it is under the skin like it's here. So now let's go and find a few other things. This, we need this. And actually I think that's all. So paste it, go here and boom, boom, boom. That's cool. I really like it. So it's already really, really nice. So we need to do the same thing here to make the impression that is coming from the skin it's attached to the skin so how we will do that well i have some ideas okay so let's do the eye thing and then i will do exactly the same thing for this but i will fast forward so the eye thing goes like this this is this is cables all right this is the eye i will make a group or no should i make a group or no mm, no because I need to go under the eye. I need to go here. Actually, I can go over the skin, but point is anywhere under the eye. So this is shadow. Okay. Actually, I will make a group shadow and the eye. Control command G and this is I. Okay. One is for shadow and another is for highlight or dodge and burn. This is dodge. We can name it like that, and this is burn. Okay, let's name it like that. And burn layer, I will put it into multiple blending mode, and the dodge layer, I will put into the screen blending mode. We can do uh, this kind of uh, setup, or maybe you can use curves. One, let me show you just what I usually like to do. One curve for the dodge, I will brighten up. For the burn, I will darken up. Maybe, maybe this is better to preserve the color. So. Let's let's go like this. This is dodge. And another curve is for darkening burn. Okay, now I can delete these and put layer masks black by inverting it. Control or command I. So let's go with the burn first. And the idea is to just go with really soft brush here and white color and just make shadow kind of effect. Let's 
see like like this and this can take some time if you want to be really precise but I don't want to be really precise here just because I don't want to invest too much of your time in this the point is just to understand how it's done and then you can go and play it for yourself also this is my first time to do a tutorial on a Mac laptop so you can see it's a Mac operating system it's I'm not on a Windows currently and the keyboard is a little bit different so maybe I will be confused from time to time but this is it. this is Dodge so now with the Dodge the idea is to add another border around that like this and also I noticed one strange thing I, I changed the resolution to full HD just to have this more zoomed for you guys to see better usually I'm working in 4k but um, what is strange is that when I change the resolution the pointer the mouse pointer or the my Wacom pen is not so so precise and smooth I need to see why is that happening if you know why is that uh, what is the reason you can just let me know down there in the in the comment section I would appreciate that so this is this is cool I like it you already have that impression that it's coming that this is dented a little bit and it's coming from under the skin see just by making these dodge and burn parts okay that's one thing another thing what I like to do with the eye here is to make some parts darker this side actually so I will make everything dark and invert it and clip it to affect only the eye and now what I will do here I will just make this part a bit darker okay perfect so I really like this I really really like this what we can do let me show you a trick and let's see how this will work I will unlink this mask between the eye this uh, chain between the eye and the mask and now I can move the eye so see let's so if we don't want to be like this maybe a little bit down I can do it but actually I like it like this because it's symmetrical like with the original I maybe even a little bit more up like like this but you got a point so I will leave it like this okay now I will fast forward and I will do the same thing for these guys right there so just dodge and burn dodge and burn so these are the cables I will group that name name it the same and here under this I will go with one I said under but it's above don't worry this is dodge and I will move it under invert and make another one this is burn and this one should be really dark so now I will fast forward and do exactly the same thing here okay so this is the first one and I need to add some shadows because there is a light coming from some 45 degrees back and this need to cast some shadows so let's create a new layer put it into multiply blending mode and choose probably this blue color and I'll just add a little bit of the shadow here okay mm, I don't like it so I need a little bit less saturated color so like this let's see and let's add a little bit of the shadow here not bad but we need to clean this up a little bit so and also we need to play with some let me show you, overall over all shadows on the cables and the elements so this is it and I need to make this part a bit darker a 
That's cool, so I like it. And now I'll do the same thing for the rest, so stay tuned in the fast forward. Alright guys, so this is it. Uh, I don't want to waste more time here. It can be a little bit better, but this is the idea. So we have some cables. We have uh, this before, as you can see, and after. So a little bit more impression that this is connected with the skin, as you can see. So this is the idea how you should do it. And uh, now let's see what else we can do here. We can add some really cool effects. So first of all, we can add some blue tint to the suit here. So let's hide the cables, N not hide, but just uh, collapse the group, the eye. And this is, I don't know how to spell it. So I think it's like this, but maybe it's not. Okay, so let's go here, add, Actually, I will go with regular layer. So regular layer, clip it to affect only this and go with some blue tone. Some blue tone, okay, and just like this. Hmm? Nothing happens? Wow, nothing happens. We are not good in Photoshop. Nothing happens because we are on a robot neck, not suit. So this is a big no-no. So, okay, I don't want this. This is something that I don't want. So go back right, right here. Okay. This is blue light. Okay. Now we can talk some blue tone. Perfect. So why it's not in here? Well, because we need to go right up on that clean up part. So I know that this doesn't look good at all, but who cares? No, I'm joking. Just uh, go a little bit. Mm, because it's completely black, we cannot do much, but just lower. No black color will not reflect too much of this light. So depends of the shiny, sh how to say shiny, shiny, I don't know. Okay, just a touch here to see that we have some kind of a blue light coming from that side. And also we can do it maybe here on the shirt, etc. But um, maybe not. So let's see what we will do. Maybe this will hide it, maybe a little bit. Let me show a little bit. Blue number two. Maybe a little bit right here. And now we can add a mask and refine it. So, add a little bit more here. Just like a subtle touch. Maybe nobody will notice this, but maybe it will. So now let's go back to the robot neck. So make a group, control command G, neck. And here I will do the same thing with the blue tone. Mm, I'm always going to the solid color, I don't know why. So let's go like this. Blue light, and this time I will put it into something, maybe color, maybe Maybe not, the color is cool. So that's it. Here we have already some blue light. Here it, it'll be, it will not be so visible. Also uh, here I will go with this tone and just paint out this blue light because the blue light it will not come here definitely. So I'm practically desaturating this and also this. I don't want this to be saturated with the blue at all. Okay, now we can go and add some kind of curves, exposure, whatever we want, whatever. I think it's better to add some more dynamic here. 
So like that, invert, control, command I, go back here and just do dodging and burning. So this side should be darker, definitely. Because the light is coming from the right. So this side too, and also because it's in there. It should be definitely darker. This, I will go a little bit here. And do some kind of darken this part. I should be more precise here. And also, I want to desaturate this. Because here we will not have any kind of dark tone. So here we will have some kind of a shadow. Here too. Let me see. Before and after, yeah, it's better. So this is pretty cool. We can make also this in side part even darker. And also we can play with the, where is it? Here, this, the shirt, uh, again, exposure. Clip it effect, only that, lower the opacity. And if you have time, like I don't have now, we can just make this part a little bit darker, not too much. And also we can desaturate the inner part, but uh, I will not because this is the reflection from the skin, so it's cool. So this is it. Maybe just this part a little bit darker. This part too. But overall, I'm pretty happy how this went from this to this. We can do more things. You can watch a few other of my cyber tutorials and add some kind of uh, cuts here and a few other things. I don't know if I will do a few other modifications. You can, if I, if I do it, you can see it on my Instagram. So, or I will put it at the end of the video. If I don't put it at the end of this video, that means that either it's on Instagram or I didn't do it. So. Now what I like to do is to go and uh, add some glow here. So let's go, let's group all of these and all of these and name this, let's name this background. I like this clean setup. Okay, and go all at the top, put this into linear dodge blending mode, name it glow. Now let's add some glow. Uh, this is not how you spell it, without E. That's it. Now let's go, let's use some dark red tone. And poof, that's it. Yeah, we don't want that. We want this. Okay, that's one. We can go and do the same here like these cables are glowing why not they should glow a little bit they should glow a little bit like this okay and we can add another layer glow number two do the same thing and here we can change color, maybe a little bit brighter and more towards the yellow. Go to inside here and maybe just like that, but it's completely optional. Right guys, so I really like it. We can play with some some other things which is not part of this tutorial we can retouch the skin a little bit we can uh, make the eye a little bit brighter and more cool i have all the tutorials for that on my channel so if you want you can check it out i will probably do that a little bit and uh, then i will do a final color grading so we'll just do this a little bit and then i will show you what i will do with brighter like that and also what is cool I'll just give you some tips here 
and we can merge everything into one layer and go to actually before that before that I can go right here make a copy of this and then go to filter and go to liquify and here we can do some really cool things first I don't want this show back 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 I don't want background so I don't either want so big zoom so I can go and make him more like more angry or like that and maybe like this what do you think mmm he looks really cool my friend Dushan is really really cool but okay I'm joking okay so maybe just just small touches here and after that let's see see before and after hmm kind of like a little bit more character with this like hmm okay and I think this looks pretty pretty cool so I will definitely do some more cleanups here and a few other touches and I will show you that uh, I will show you the final result either at the end of the video or you can see it on Instagram but now I will go to filter camera raw filter and here we will just do some kind of color grading I like to add vignetting so right there like this and feather it all the way up for the basic things we can go and this is cool trick you can make this kind of soft skin and then add back some texture and see before and after it's really really cool that's one way of playing with your photos okay and what we can do we can go a little bit more towards the cool side or warm side warm looks cool here so why not maybe maybe something like that and also with the color grading tab we can go to the shadows and make shadows a little bit more bluish you know that I like that sometimes okay so this and maybe some highlights more yellowish let's see yeah, why not why not just a bit maybe, maybe I can add some some brightness to highlights yeah like that or to make everything dark now I just want a little bit two three and for now I I can also go to calibration tab and add a little bit like orange and teal because we have these colors and this looks nice so before and after you can see before and after and I will just say okay and this is it so one more time before and after and overall before really cool really cool really cool ah oh, really cool so this is it Right guys, so this is the final result. I really hope that you like it. You saw it's pretty simple and easy and you can have a lot of fun turning your friends or whoever you want into a human cyborg. So if you like this episode, press the like button down below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.